attention, and now. So here's the material we're covering in weeks four, five, and six for basic class. So to uh, so review with this whole video, it's what we're using for the next three weeks. So uh, we'll start with the, the hand skills. So attention and bow, kicking stance loud, yep. So the next two techniques in the hand skill set are uppercut, uppercut. Uppercut is the one that goes straight up, like it goes underneath the chin, and your fist should be facing towards your opponent, so not crooked or something, but it almost looks like you're making a fist. So the first one goes up, and then the second one goes up. So it's gonna be front arm, and then rear arm. Now you wanna use your legs and your hips, so the way you do it, you could load up this front leg, you could put your weight on it, and now I'm gonna twist from my hip as I come up. So that's the front arm, and then after the next one, I'll load up my other leg and come up with this one. Okay, so now you can see the power is coming from my legs and from the hip twist. That's how I get power, rather than just doing this with my arms. So let's just do a couple together. So load up your front leg, twist and do front arm. Load up the other leg, twist and do rear arm. Front arm, and then rear arm. Load up that front leg, front arm, and rear arm. Let's do two more times. Load up that front leg, load up that rear leg. Last time, load it up and load it up. Now the last technique of the hands, the, the boxing kickboxing set, so for our, for our hands, is gonna be a step off roundhouse kick. So imagine if the bad guy is right in front of me, I'm gonna step off to the side and then kick where the bad guy was already standing. The reason we do the step off <coughs> is to avoid you know, being right in direct line with the target. So now I've gotten off to the side, so I'm out of the way, and then do my kick. So let's try it together. We're gonna step off to this side, and I'm doing a mirror image. I'm assuming you got your left leg in front. So I step off to the side, and then roundhouse kick. Let's do that five times together. So ready, one, step off, roundhouse kick. Let's try it again. Two, step off, roundhouse kick. Three, step off, roundhouse kick. Four, step off, roundhouse kick. And one more time, five, step off, and roundhouse kick. Now in week six, we start actually putting this whole hand, uh, hand skill set together. So it's called the boxing and kickboxing set. Let's just go through it from the beginning. So the whole set is this, it's jab, cross, hook, hook, bob and weave, bob and weave, uppercut, uppercut, step off, round. On the test, you've got to have the whole set memorized, plus know the words, and hit with power. Let's just walk through it a few more times together, slow. Here we go, so we do jab, cross, hook, hook, bob and weave, bob and weave, uppercut, Uppercut, step off, round. Make sure you're calling the words out with me at home. Let's try again. Jab, cross, hook, hook, bob and weave, bob and weave. Uppercut, uppercut, step off, round. Two more times, Read it. Jab, cross, hook, hook, bob and weave, bob and weave. Uppercut, Uppercut, step off, round. Last time, do your very best, ready? Jab, cross, hook, hook. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Uppercut, uppercut, step off, round. Awesome, attention to that. We got two more new roundhouse kicks to work on. So let's do the warm up together first, then I'll show it to you against speed paper. So when we warm up, we'll start on our hands and knees. First round of warm up, your knee is gonna hold totally still. Only your foot's gonna move. So start on your hands and knees. Let's pick one leg to go first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite leg, same thing. Your knee points to the side. Only your foot moves. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite leg, this time you gotta point your toes as far as you can, so you get a long reach and a long extension. On a roundhouse kick, you're supposed to hit with the top of your foot. So here we go, one, reach, two, reach, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite leg, reach far as you can, ready, one, reach, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last warm up round. So when you're standing up, you've got to get totally sideways, and then your leg is supposed to be as flat as you can, like a tabletop. So one more round of warm up. Here we go. One, turn, make a tabletop. Two, like a table. Three, tabletop. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite leg, same thing. Hip goes totally sideways, flat as a tabletop. Ready? One, tabletop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like a table, nine, and ten. All right, here's the two new kicks. I'll have Mr. Lepke be my partner. He's just going to hold a speed paper so it's a little easier to see. So tension down. So the first kick is a step off round, kind of like we did in the boxing kickboxing set. So instead of holding it right in front of me, it's going to hold it a little bit crooked. To, oh, you can see it there. Yep, there you go. He's just going to hold it where it's turned a little to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step off to the left, but then I'll do my kick to the target. It's simulating that I'm stepping off, pow, and I'm kicking Mr. Lemke in the body or the head or wherever. So let's do five on each side. So ready? We're going to step to the left. We do one and two. And three, four, and one more time is five. And now let's do the other leg. So now instead of in the middle, yep, he just turns and pivots just a little to the side. So now I've got a step to the right, and my left leg does the kick. So ready? One step to the side, and kick. Two step off, round out his kick. Three. Four, and one more time, five. All right, so that's called step off roundhouse kick, and the other kick is called rear leg roundhouse kick. So as a reminder, when I do a front leg, the first thing I do is I turn my front hip to the target, then I make a table tap. That's how we do the front leg. Rear leg's kind of similar. First thing I'll do is I'll pivot, so my rear hip is gonna face the target. Now I make a table tap and kick. So I want to make sure, especially if you're an adult, that I pivot this front foot. If I don't pivot this front foot and I just come around, you can see that would be really dangerous on my knee. So I've got to take my hip, I've got to turn and pivot. I don't know if you watch my foot, but as I'm turning, I'm pivoting. Now this hip is facing the target. Make a tabletop and kick. When I'm done, I can set it down in the back. So let's try five with each leg. So one, pivot and turn and kick. Two, pivot and turn, and kick. Three, pivot and turn, and kick. Four, pivot and turn, and kick. One more time. Five, pivot and turn, and kick. Let's try the other leg. So if my right leg is in front, now I've got to pivot so my left hip faces the target. Then I make a tabletop, and then I do the kick. So let's do five on this side. So pivot and turn, and kick. Two, pivot and turn, and kick. Three, pivot and turn, and kick. Four, pivot and turn, and one more time. Five, pivot and turn, and kick. Awesome, thanks for helping Mr. Lemke. So that's the material we're covering in weeks four, five, and six. Practice to this video for each one of those weeks to get those class credits and get practiced up as we work towards the test. Attention. And now.